Why did I bother taking the animal control perk? Oh right, because I thought I was going to get a perk every level. And getting a perk every level, animal control wasn't a waste. Because I'm not getting a perk every level. Yeah, it kind of was. Hello. Does that do anything? Other than burn through a crap load of so yeah, I see it burning through a crap load of my energy, and that's it. I wonder. Doesn't Fook have its own? What is this? Oh. You can add testing things to what's his face's house. So look at that. These are the unique guns. It's kind of cheap to just be able to grab one, huh? Well, I'm not gonna. That is cool, though. You can also access a bag of holding from directly here. That is awesome. We could disable and enable achievements. But what I was looking for, I'm not seeing. There should be. This allow repair and combat, screen blood, melee lock. Med and ingestibles, weight, increased levels required per part. You know, I actually didn't test this. Let's save. Did I get a part to this level, or do I need to level up twice to check? That's... I am supposed to get a perk for the next level. So I'm going to have to do this twice. But this is why I save, because I'm going to reload after I test this. So I was going to get a perk that level either way. But if I get a perk now, then it worked. It worked! God, all that and all I had to do was reset the freaking in-game menu. Are you kidding me? No, nope, they're not kidding me. They're serious. That is such BS. Hold up, because I want the perk from level 23, so I'm going to have to rewatch that whole thing and get my level 22, my level 23 perk. Alright, hold up. Actually, I decided I have a better idea. I'm level 23, right? At 23, I have missed out on 12 perks. If I set myself back 6 levels, then I will regain 12 perks. So, player, set level, 23 minus 6, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Nope, that's wrong. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Yes, I need to be level 17. Company. And how'd that work? Bingo.
Now, it's gonna give me excess skill points, but really, that doesn't matter. At this point, all my skill, all my skills are pretty much at 100 anyway. Um, I tell you what, because medicine doesn't do anything after level, or no, speech, speech doesn't do anything after level 100. I'll put all six of these level skill points into speech. Because after level 100, they're trying to make it to where if something requires 30, when you're talking to somebody, it requires 30 explosives to convince him to let you do something, then it'll require 130 speech instead. You know, 100 plus whatever. Yeah, let's go east. There's a Brotherhood of Steel thing east of here. By the way, I looked it up, I'm pretty sure, I can't be 100% sure, but I'm pretty sure that this Abandoned Brotherhood still really is the Dead Money expansion. I don't think I'm wrong this time. I could be, but I don't think I am. First of all, that marker's been there since the beginning of the game, and that would explain why. Ranger Station Delta. Patrolling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winter. It's only 76 degrees outside. Who the hell made this temperature? I think they're just measuring the temperature the game actually puts out. Maybe not. But in either case, Nevada was hotter than that today. Hell, today here in Texas it was 90 something. And we're actually pretty cool for right now, I swear. Just wait until summer hits, we're gonna die. Well, this is. A, oh, it's 76 degrees in October. That explains a lot. I just realized it's October in the game. Where am I going? Just can't forlorn hope. Oops, a daisy. I think this one's the one that doesn't actually do anything. It's here to protect the dam. Sure on that. I don't really plan on finding out either. We've got a jail here. That red beret is looking good, soldier. Red beret. I don't have a red beret. Why are you sneaking? Private Sexton was thinking of having a contest to see who can kill the most Legion. I wonder if he ever got that going. No time to talk. I have to keep watch for a Legion raiding party. Well, do you see any Legion?
I see a legion. He's just slightly outside of range. Throw in the other two. I still helped. Yeah, I didn't do the work for him, but I helped. And what I'm looking for is directly east of here. So bad guys, you're just gonna have to survive for now. <laughs> Yeah, I'm thinking of the Legion of the bad guys, and that's not really true. It, it is, but it, you know, this game is like really into the idea of nobody's the good guy. Rather than everybody being the good guy and it just being this big misunderstanding, in this game, nobody's the good guy. Everybody's bad every last freaking thing in this entire game is corrupt. And fine, that makes sense, it's the way real life actually is, and I respect that. At the same time, <laughs> I left my heart zero, Madre. But at the same time, your only option, here we go, it specifically tells you that you're starting dead money here. One way journey until you're done. Got some new companions. A toxic city that erodes health over time? Yeah, I'm glad I turned off hardcore. That's just ridiculous. Well, whatever. I should leave a save right here. This will be my Sierra Madre save. Okay, so I'm doing the DLC before I'm even doing the main quest. Before I'm going anywhere near the main quest. I still haven't touched it. I've only seen the outside of Assassin. I've only seen the outside of the Vegas Strip. Oh man, why did I unlock the door? I could have locked picked the door. Kindle old flames. Let your eyes take in the luxurious expanse of the open desert. Under WTF, the clear mate? starlit skies. Gaze straight on into the sunset from our villa rooftops. Countless diversions await. System Head shutting down. Casino, take in the theater, or stay in one of our exclusive executive suites that will shelter you. And cater to your every wish. Um, okay. That's a weird way to handle DLC. You've heard of the Sierra Madre Casino. <coughs> we all have. The legend, the curses, foolishness about it lying in the middle of the city of the dead, buried beneath a blood red cloud. A bright, shining monument luring treasure hunters to their doom. The world's most famous stars and entertainers were invited to its grand opening. An invitation was a sign of exclusiveness. The opening was supposed to symbolize a road to a brighter future. Not just for the world, but for all who came to its doors. A chance for anyone to begin again. Except, the Sierra Madre never opened. The war froze it in time, like a big flash bulb going off. The grand opening, one big ending of humanity. It's still out there, in the wastes, preserved, just waiting for someone to crack it open. But getting to it, that's not the hard part. 